Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, December 8, 2017. This week, how to mash up templates. One of the most enjoyable parts of my job is having the opportunity to connect with so many of you. I like hearing from you and getting the chance to help you as you work through little hiccups in your digital journey. This request came from Bertha, who asked for a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to mash up templates. You may have seen the template mashup challenge on the Designer Digital's blog and wondered what it was all about. Here's how to get started mashing templates. Begin by opening two templates in Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. For the sample, I chose Katie Pertit's Joyous Holiday Layered Template and Katie Pertit's Hello Santa Layered Template. For the challenge, the host gives you instructions on which two templates were mashing for that challenge. Next, choose File, New from the menu bar. In Photoshop Elements, choose File, New, Blank File. Create a new document that's 12 inches by 12 inches at 300 pixels per inch. For the color mode, choose RGB color at 8-bit. And for the background contents, just choose white. It makes it easier at this point. And then click Create. This will be your working document on which you'll create your new page. I find it easiest to have all three documents visible in my working window at one time. So to do that, choose Window, Arrange, Float All in Windows. If you're working in Elements, you'll choose Window, Images, Float All in Windows. You can drag the new document to the side by clicking and dragging on the title bar. Press Control Tab, or on a Mac system that's Command Tab, to scroll through the three open documents as you work. This is a big help for me since I like to keep the two templates stacked over on the left side of the editing window with the new blank document on the right. I can control tab through the templates to make choices on things as I work. Now you'll use your creativity to pick and choose parts of each template to create your own imaginative design. So find an item on one template that you'd like to use on your new mashup page. So click on the template to make it active and then click on the item you want to use. Look over in the Layers panel on the right side of the screen. You'll see that the layer that you chose is now highlighted. You can click and drag directly from the Layers panel onto your new blank document. Hold the Shift key as you click and drag to keep the item in exactly the same position that it was on the original template. Repeat this process to pick and choose different parts of the page that you want to use on your new page. You'll be using the template sort of like kits to put together a new and unique design. Now to select more than one item at a time, like if you want to get a frame with a photo placeholder and tape or staples or something like that, just control click or on a Mac system command click all of the layers that you want to select at one time. Click and drag the layers onto the working document all at once. So on this one, if I wanted to add in this nice stitching, the stitching comes in four parts. So I'll just control click all four parts, then click and drag over at one time. Finally, you can add papers and embellishments from other kits, and then photos and journaling to finish up your page. Save your page and share it in the Scrapbook Challenge Gallery. And then don't forget, if you use all Designer Digital's products on your challenge page, you can post a link of your page in the challenge participation thread so it'll count towards your savings in the rewards program. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digital's tip.